approaching the bat cave. Begin. Jason Moore, I'm gonna call you in one second. I'm gonna watch this matchup real quick. That's an unblockable. Oh. Goes for the punish. Safe. Ooh, low profiles the 4-2. I think he's down three low profiles the 4-2. And the neutral just puddles it. Oh, nice. One of the greatest things about uh, Blue Beetles is how much meter he builds. I, I don't know what this matchup is. I have no idea. It's definitely not... It's definitely not like a blowout. It might be 6-4 atrocities. It could be 5-5 five, five Beetle, and I'm serious. Oh, yeah, like... like, like Flight is kind of frustrating. Flight is very frustrating for uh, Atrocitus. And we all, we, we could probably all agree that Rewind is a top two, top three Atrocitus player. This is why I wanted to put uh, Re Recons on. Not really versus Rewind, but I wanted to put him against just anybody. Uh, put Recons on against anybody that people deem as a top player user, a top character user, or, you know, whatever. Yeah, on the street, on the streets of Manhattan, in Atlanta, a lot of people are saying it's 5-5. But some streets are saying Beetle actually wins the matchup. Imagine that. Beetle beating Atrocitus. Imagine that. I've heard that. In fact, I've even said it. I've actually said it's a possibility. I've literally said that that is a possibility. Rage and Recon's looking super effing sharp. Rage and Recons was a Sub-Zero player in Mortal Kombat 9 and X. The streets of Gotham are now running blue with beetle blood. I stole that right from Gandyman Gaming. Jason Moore, I'm going to add you pretty soon. Atrocitus. Fighters approaching Atlantis. I played uh, Rage and Recons the other day. I won 18 to 13. However, I got lucky like 10 of the games. Begin. We're talking like critical critical condition hits. That matchup might be 5 5 for Dr. I was using, I was using Dr. Fate. I was using Dr. Fate, not, not Atrocitus. Because I kind of don't like that matchup with Atrocitus. You guys want to know who the, who the first Beetle I played was that scared me about the Atrocitus Beetle matchup? Literally, I'll tell you. Ooh, nice wake up. I like that. I like that a lot. I need to do more of that. Chris G. Chris G was the first person to show me that Beetle actually might win this matchup. Chris, Chris G understands what Beetle can do in this matchup. It was pretty impressive. I didn't think about it until Chris showed me. Then I wasn't very happy about it. But, you know, it's early. Who names a cat Dexstar? You're through mocking him! So Rewind kind of shook on the first game saying, damn, I've never played a beetle like this. Readjusts and is dominating game two. So we'll see if uh, the Rickens can, can adjust. Can you imagine if this was Evo? Rage and Rickens, beetle versus Atrocitus, up 1-0. How hyped would people be right now in the chat? Steaming them with some blue Cheerios. Those are kind of like the uh, the smoker O's, like when you blow smoke out of your mouth with the, uh, like the O. Oh, that's good. That's a nice trade. That's an incredible nice trade, actually. It seems like to me that because Beetle uses, uh, builds so much meter, he can get a lot more throw escapes in this matchup. Atrocitus wins. Vape Nation. <laughs> Blue Beetle. 
Atrocitus. Fighters approaching the Bat Cave. Yeah. You can see Rewind, if you're, watch, if you're watching Red Hot Sundays live right now in the chat room, Rewind's confirming everything I said. He said, for you YouTube people, I played Recons already, and I hate this matchup. This character is so hard to catch. It's true, man. This character's frustrating. But, I don't know. I mean, you know, he, Rewind kind of got taken to him the first game, but he is taking it to Recons left and right in game two and three. Who would you guys say is the MVP so far of the night? Are we saying that Reekens is the MVP? Or are we saying Buffalo beating Catwoman? There's been some low tier showcasing tonight. I've been showcasing some potential low tier characters going toe to toe with top tier characters. So that's actually good for the game. Rewind pulling it together up two to one. Evo standards that would have been no, it's actually first to three now. So he would be up one. He'd be up two to one, one game away from advancing. You got to start thinking about Red Hot Sunny matches in terms of Evo. Who gets sent to losers? Who doesn't? Blue Beetle, Atrocitus. Atlantis. So we're going to have Rewind versus Gross next. And then after Rewind versus Gross, we're going to have Rewind versus Forever King Jr.'s Cyborg. Rewind versus Gross is very interesting. Very interesting. You know, Gross plays uh, Viking a lot. Viking uh, is a very, very good, very strong Atrocitus player doing work in uh, Florida for locals and uh, majors. I think he, I'm not sure what he got at CEO. I think 13th, maybe? But uh, it'll be interesting to see how. I know Gross usually does well, I think. Yeah, he usually does well versus Vikings, so it'll be cool to see how Rewind handles the matchup. Yeah, Gross got 17th. Nice conversion. Oh, but drops the last tip, but that's okay. Recon's, lo Recon's looking to come back. Nice space on the interactable, but still gets pelted. Uh, from a pro perspective? Damn, that multi-pass, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. I'm really not sure, man. I'm really not sure. That's a great question. Oh my god, that's gonna hurt so bad. Oh, nice, never mind. Nice. Nice trade. I got punches and punch the board. Yeah, so Viking got 17th, I got 17th. Rewind will probably get top three at Evo. Oh, nice! You can low profile. No not worry about anything else, but that's uh, gonna be a bad trade. Who names a cat Dexstar? You're through mocking him! I agree. Don't mock Dexstar, he's had a tough life. <laughs> Yeah, Star Charger and Viking. I've got a great streak going on in my tournament life, online and offline. If you take ESL, where I beat the crap out of Kitty Z and Slayer, you take that out of the picture. 
I have lost my first tournament match online and offline at every tournament so far. But I got fourth. I think I got fourth today. I lost the first match and came back and got fourth in the Seattle Hometown Heroes. And then uh, I came back and got 17th at uh, Comma Breaker. Yeah. All right. Good set. 3 1. Now we're going to do Gross. Dak, Dak, Gross. Dak, Dak, Gross. I love Dr. Gross. The Agro. Ah, 